You know, as a little kid, I was always fascinated to beautiful, bright colored candies and foods and thought that they're made of some kind of special ingredients. But little did I know that it's just food color. Sure, artificial food colors make your food look appealing, but are they safe and should you consume them? Well, stick around till the end of this video and you'll find out whether these food colors are harmless or harmful. pharmacist Sidra and welcome to ask your pharmacist where I talk everything health pharmacy and beauty so if that interests you stick around and subscribe for more so today's video I think is very important especially if you have kids nieces or nephews or if you're just concerned about what goes in your mouth and is it healthy or not yes food colors do make your food look aesthetically pleasing but at the cost of your health do you notice that your kid gets hyper after eating a cookie coated with a bright green frosting or that bright red candy? Well, yes, it's natural to assume that sugar is the culprit here, but research suggests that some of the blame goes to the artificial food dyes as well. You know, there are so many artificial food dyes like red number three, red number 40, uh, blue number one, and you know, so many others. I'll just list the whole um, list on the screen here. But what I'm trying to say here is that all the synthetic dyes are basically the same and are made out of petroleum. Yes, you heard me right. The same petroleum that fuels our vehicles is being used to make these artificial food dyes and unfortunately 15 million pounds of food dyes is used just in the United States you know it's present in your packaged lemonade uh, fruit rolls bakery goods and even in your yogurt can you imagine that apparently yogurt is supposed to be healthy you know and the crazy thing is that these food manufacturers tell us right on the ingredient label that artificial food coloring or artificial flavoring has been added yet most consumers don't seem to be worried about it because a lot of people don't really know what these artificial flavors and dyes are made of and how they're actually harming our health you know i imagine it's probably because most of us don't even know what are the health risk of uh, these artificial food colors that's why i made this dedicated video just to discuss the harmful effects of the food colors on our health First of all, the food colors have literally no nutritional value. You know, they add no nutrition to your food. They're basically used just for aesthetic purpose. I mean, I get it. Without food colors, your colas wouldn't be brown. Mint ice wouldn't be green, I believe. And red velvet cake wouldn't be bright red. You know, sounds quite boring. But just think about it that these food colors are made out of petroleum, which is a crude oil and is used to make gasoline and diesel fuel. How does that sound? I'm sure not appetizing and healthy, right? And you'll be surprised to know that some of these food colors actually contain uh, cancer-causing substances. Several studies conducted on animals showed that red dye 3 caused the thyroid tumor in rats and blue 2 dye may cause the brain and bladder tumor in rats. Now, I understand that although these studies are done on animals, unfortunately, that's why the safety of artificial food colors is very controversial. But here's my question for those who are skeptical about it. Since artificial food color is adding no value to your food and is used just to make your food look aesthetic, which I get it, the look of the food is important, but why not go for natural food colors, right? You'll see all the processed food contain artificial colors and flavoring, which we all know the processed foods are bad for us. And they're cutting the cost of manufacturing by not using the natural sources of food color, but they're just using the cheap artificial food colors. And if that reason is not good enough for you, then how about that the research shows that the artificial food colors may cause hyperactivity in your children? Would you want that for your kids? You know, in fact, in 1973, a pediatric allergist claimed that hyperactivity and learning problems in children were 
caused by artificial food coloring and preservatives in food. And another clinical study found that removing artificial food dyes from diet along with the uh, preservative called um, sodium benzoate significantly reduced hyperactive symptoms. You know, although not all children react the same way to food dyes, some seem to be more sensitive than the others. But artificial food dyes also have been shown to negatively impact the functioning of the liver and other vital organs. So I literally think that just for the aesthetic look of the food i wouldn't want to risk all that for my children because these artificial food dyes are interfering with the digestive enzymes that our bodies produce to help properly break down the food that we eat and also they increase the intestinal permeability which is also known as the leaky gut you know artificial dyes are also linked to respiratory disorders like um, asthma and bronchitis they also negatively impact the nerve cell development see the food dyes are very common they're everywhere in your candies and your frosting macaroni and cheese your uh, sport drinks your breakfast cereal and even some types of breads also contain food coloring and the list can literally go on and on so probably you can't completely avoid the food dyes but what i recommend is try to minimize them especially in your kids food and if there is a cancer risk in your family i would encourage you to be even more vigilant in avoiding artificial dyes um, i really recommend four strategies that can really help you limit the use of artificial food dyes so the first one is read the labels shoot for foods that use natural food colorings from uh, fruits and vegetable extracts like um, beets blueberry juice beta carotene are really good alternative of your artificial dyes also children medications think about uh, liquid cough syrups or chewable tablets they also contain food dyes so try to look for dye free medications the second strategy is to go for homemade foods you know when you're making food at home you have complete control of what you add in your food and what not right you know just think in a way that if your kid needs to bring dessert to school then consider chocolate chip cookie or just a sugar cookie that won't need frosting and if you have to frost something then just choose natural uh, food colors also you want to focus more on whole foods foods that come in package are processed and almost always contain food dyes so limit processed foods whenever possible go for whole fruit and lastly emphasize on healthy eating habit avoid giving your kids uh, processed foods for as long as possible because once your kids get used to of eating these processed foods it's really hard to get them off it you know when you encounter foods with dyes talk to your kids educate them about it tell them why the brightly colored foods may not be the best choice if your kids go to a party maybe encourage them to choose apple juice over a sports drink or soda and always model good behavior when you're around your kids all right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope now you will try to limit the artificial food dyes and please share this video to spread the awareness and help others and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on new videos on health pharmacy and beauty i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye mm -hmm.